This story is brought to you by The Month of Lerv. The Month of Lerv! Chapter 3 Wendy's hoof tapped gently against the door frame. When she heard no response, she gently nudged the door open and stepped inside, pushing the door back to almost shut again. Lyra's room was dimly lit, the only light coming from the edges of the windows where the sun peeked through the tightly drawn shades. Clothes were scattered across the floor, and Wendy carefully made her way over to the bed. There, in a curled-up ball of blankets, Lyra laid. She wasn't crying. She had already cried and cried until the tears had stopped coming, but even so, the blanket twitched and moved as Lyra restlessly shook. The bed shifted as Wendy sat down on the other end. Lyra? She softly called out. Go away, Lyra hoarsely whispered. Wendy reached over to pull the blanket back, revealing the green unicorn, her long, swirly mane all tangled and knotted from its wavy style, her eyes red and bloodshot. Lyra slapped at Wendy's hoof, and her magic pulled the blanket back over her head. Go away, she muttered again. Lyra, I know it's hard, but you've got to push through. You've missed classes for three days now. I think your professors are getting worried. I don't care, Lyra said. It doesn't matter. I'm quitting school. What? Wendy gasped. But it's all pointless. I'm going back to Ponyville. I'm no pony. Don't say that. Wendy said sharply. You're... you're amazing, Lyra. She took a deep breath. This is all because of her, isn't it? Lyra's face peeked out from beneath the blanket, wearing a snarl. Don't talk about her. She's bad for you. In the past six months, she's strung you along while she did everything in her power to change you. First your hair, then your clothes, then your music. She doesn't care about you, Lyra. She just wants some sort of, of, fashion accessory to parade around for her own benefit. Shut up! You don't know anything about her! Or me! Can't you see that she's wrong for you? I just want you to be happy! Then go away! Lyra screamed. Wendy pulled back. Her mouth opened and closed wordlessly. Only Bon Bon can make me happy, Lyra murmured. Wendy stood up and backed away to the door. Only Bon Bon, Lyra whispered to herself. Wendy's hooves sounded like thunder in her ears as she walked out of the bedroom. She made her way down the hall, pausing for a moment to look into her own room. It was nearly bare, only a paltry collection of trinkets that made up all of her possessions. And then, shaking her head, Wendy Wander walked onwards, out of the house, and out of Lyra's life. Lyra stared at the two identical bonbons standing in her living room, her eyes wide as dinner plates. She closed them and raised one hoof to rub her face, but a second glance revealed the situation unchanged. Okay, Lyra said weakly. Normally when I have this dream there are less bad vibes and it's more... She drew a lazy circle in the air. Bedroom adjacent. Changelin! The bonbon on the right shouted. The left bonbon gasped and raised a hoof in accusation. Yeah, she's a changelin. No, you're a changelin. Wright flailed her hooves out to push the other mare away, her face twisted in a scowl. Get your filthy bug hooves away from me. Lyra, you have to believe me. She's an evil changelin trying to impersonate me. Left stumbled back and crouched down, looking up at Lyra with her big blue eyes. Wright leaned forward as she hurled insults at the other pony. Liar! Scum! Vermin! Am not! Left shouted back, raising back to her hooves to stand muzzle to muzzle with her duplicate. You're the liar! Wright's eyes narrowed. That's just what a changeling would say! I'm not a changeling! Said the liar! Hold it! Lyra shouted out, causing both to freeze. She plopped on the wood floor, holding her head between her hooves. Okay, okay. Let's calm down and approach this rationally. But, but you have to get rid of her. I'm scared, Lyra. Lyra's eye twitched and a slightly manic grin bloomed on her face. Don't worry, I've seen a movie like this. I think we can handle it. Lyra? Left bit her lip and raised one hoof. Are you okay? I... A movie? 
Wright said. You kidding, right? Lyra shook her head, a little harder than necessary. No. No, this should be easy. I just have to ask you something only the real Bon Bon would know. No problem. Fine, Wright said. Get on with it. Left, shivered. Oh, okay. Lyra's face fell blank, and she raised a hoof to her chin as she thought. After a moment of pensive silence, her eye twitched once again, and she rose to her hooves, raising one foreleg high. Okay, it's on. Super Bon Bon Identity Quiz Number One. Drum roll, please. Both ponies stared back at her. You guys need to lighten up, said Lyra. She paused for a moment, the grin returning to her face, still slightly too toothy to be natural. Good job, one point to both teams. Lyra, Lef said. Right, sorry. Okay, round one. What's my favorite color? Green, Wright said firmly. Blue, Left whispered. Wright shot her a dark glance. One point to left, Lyra said. Ha! Wright said. My left. But, but you're green, Wright said. Lyra raised an eyebrow. So? So it's a stupid question, Wright huffed. Your objection has been noted. Question number two. What's my birthday? October 14th, 979, Left said. How am I supposed to... Wright's eyes narrowed as she glanced sideways at the other pony. October 14th, 979. Hmm, Lyra said. Correct. One point to both. Question number... These are stupid questions, Wright said. I thought it was supposed to be something that I would have known, not something about you. Well, fine, Lyra said. But it has to be something that I know too, or else I wouldn't know it, you know? Wright raised her hoof to her head, wincing. I am beginning to regret this trip. Okay, question number... 15. How did we first meet? Wright threw up her hooves in disgust. That was ages ago. No pony can remember. In the Joint Tri-University Cafeteria at Canelot, Left said. Wright glared at her fiercely. How did you... A calculating light bloomed in her eyes. Oh, how long have you been spying on me, bug? I don't know what you're talking about, Left whispered. Wright's eyes narrowed, and then she smirked. Fine, then I do have something that only the real Bonbon bon knows, because only Lyra and I were there. Wright Bonbon bon turned to Lyra and nodded. Ask what I said when you finally asked me out on a real date. Lyra's hoof fell as her cheerful expression melted away. Her face turned stony, and she gazed out into the middle distance for a long moment. Fine, Lyra said, closing her eyes. Answer the question, please. Leff inhaled sharply. Um, that, that I didn't like mares, but I was wrong, I changed my mind, and... Nope, Wright said triumphantly. Wrong, faker. Then you say it. Lyra said, her voice weary. Wright rolled her eyes. It's hardly necessary. It was a fit of peak, and I've had time to reflect and reevaluate and... Say it. Wright shifted on her hooves. Ahem. <clears throat> that is, I said you were going nowhere and you didn't deserve to be loved. That no pony loves a loser. A flurry of emotions crossed the left bonbon's face at hearing those words. Shock. Anger and then a sort of stricken look as her eyes met those of Lyra. Okay, that's enough, Lyra said, her voice still heavy. I know who's who. She trotted forward as Wright grinned in victory, up until Lyra pushed past her to embrace the other bonbon, nuzzling her head against her neck. You idiot! She's the changeling! Lyra looked up, her eyes so fierce that bonbon took a step back. I know. Get the hell out of my house, Bonbon. Bon. But I'm not going to ask again nicely. Bonbon bon bared her teeth. I thought you had made something of yourself, but you're still the same trashy waste of space you always were, Lyra Heartstrings. Lyra let go of the other mare and took a menacing step forward, causing Bonbon bon to hastily canter out the house's door. She opened it and trotted outside, turning to haughtily glare back. You've not heard the last of... The door glowed green with magic and slammed shut in her face. 
Lyra's entire body sagged, and she turned, falling forward. The remaining Bonbon leapt forward to catch her. No! Lyra shouted. Bonbon froze, one foreleg still raised and hanging, stricken in the air. Lyra laid limp on the floor, a puppet whose strings had been cut. You... I don't even know who you are. I... The words caught in Bonbon's mouth as Lyra looked up at her, those luminous golden eyes full of hurt. Bonbon took one step back, then another. As Lyra continued to watch her, Bonbon fled the room, tears welling up in her eyes. Lyra's head dropped back down, and she hugged her forelegs to herself tightly as she curled up in a ball, her body shivering but face still locked in a blank stare. To be continued.